Surfing is often associated with California's beaches. The sport actually originated over 3,000 years ago in ancient Polynesia. Surfers were first spotted in mainland America in 1885, with three Hawaiian princes visiting Santa Cruz, California at that time. The princes discovered that the wood from California redwood trees made their surfboards much lighter and more nimble in the waves. Since then, the sport has grown internationally, and the raw materials used to make the boards have changed drastically. Vince Broglio, a resident of Santa Cruz, California, has been a witness to the evolution of surfing as a sport and as a culture. He owns one of the premier surfboard fiberglassing businesses in Santa Cruz. Vince's business is also the source for his artistic inspiration. He creates unique sculptures from the materials used to coat surfboards. And like the waves Broglio surfs, each sculpture is one of a kind. Surfing is such a big part of my life, it's, it's an addiction. I can still remember my first wave in, uh, over in Waikiki Beach. My cousin pushed me into the wave. The white water grabbed me and just coming out of the white water, just biggest smile on my face. I really get inspired by the ocean that goes into my artwork. Uh, in the ocean and in surfboards, there's always movement, curves, and all that. I try to m put a lot of movement into my uh, sculptures and in my paintings. With the ocean, it's always twisting, rotating, curling. So that's how I, I really like to do my sculptures. When I started working on surfboards, I started at the very bottom doing ding repair. With that experience of knowing how to do a ding repair to fix it really came into play. I started out doing gloss and polishing. Um, that's the very final coats, what you do to a surfboard. A shaper will bring me a shape blank, and uh, so I'll put the, the fiberglass, the resin, the fins or the fin boxes, and I'll put up the uh, final product. I do everything myself, and I've worked in the big shops before, and I really enjoy just my hands-on quality work. This is a solid chunk of resin that I collect when I'm laminating surfboards. The resin falls off the rails here and goes down to my catch rack. It'll take up to 1,000 to 1,200 boards and about two, two and a half years worth of uh, board building to uh, collect enough mass to cut it, cut it up for my sculptures. The year 2005, December, Fifth, known as Black Monday, that's when Grubby Clark closed his doors and he was the main uh, manufacturer of the uh, surfboard blank. He produced 80% of the world market and he closed his doors overnight without any warning. And um, 
So I was just looking at my rack, <clears throat> trying to figure out what I was going to do, and I decided to cut that up, try to do a sculpture out of it, and I <clears throat> made a little wave out of it, and uh, I got a really res good response. So that's what got the whole ball rolling for me for going into my resin sculptures. When you're surfing a wave, you're drawing lines and looking at different sections. Uh, that's what's kind of fun to write different boards because it makes you draw different lines. That aspect going into uh, doing a sculpture, like sometimes I'll just leave a piece sitting in my room and I'll look at it and it might something might pop to me within a few hours. Uh, I had one piece that it sat in my uh, laminating room for about a year and a half and then all of a sudden one day I looked at it and I went I can make a wave out of that and I just brought it into my sand room grabbed my uh, grinder it was 5,000 rpm and I was in there for four or five hours grinding away I couldn't put down the grinder it was just I was just drawn into that piece and uh, that was like surfing right there, just carving. All my training for my art, it all came from my surfboard work. With surfboards, it's pretty much an art in itself, of uh, glassing a board, shaping a board, sanding. Um, so all that, I've learned from uh, building the surfboards, like how to use a grinder, how to <clears throat> use a polisher, how to do the color work uh, on my paintings. It's all come from the surfboards. I think a lot of people that buy my sculptures, they do have some connection with the ocean. I think people really gravitate to the ocean and water, rivers, this is that common fill you get from it. And I think that's why people really like will gravitate to the waves I make, because it does have that calming feeling that you will get from the ocean. Um, there's something about water that just does that to you to a person that's really, you can let everything go and just melt. And I'm always learning different things, new techniques. With the art too, I'm just scratching the surface. I. I never know where it's going to go. I can see the different uh, progression from where I've started to where things are now. I think any kind of artist or professional should get out of that field once you think you know it all. I think find something else to do.